What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another rebuild on Madden 22. This is going to be a realistic style rebuild of the Carolina Panthers. Obviously for tonight's game, there was the choice between this and the Texans. I was like, you know what? This team has been looking pretty good. They might win even more games going forward. Whereas the Texans... I think they'll wait for us. I think they'll be bad for a little while. Unfortunately, Texans fans, you guys are still doing better than expected. And then the whole uh, Tyrod Taylor injury. But that's the besides the point. This is the Panthers rebuild. You guys will get your turn one time. You just relax. Of course, Sam Darnold, you probably know, is probably a 72 overall in most rosters. I upped him to a 76 because he's kind of uh, exceeding expectations. Not absolutely going off, but... You know, playing uh, you know around average, which is you know something that the Panthers obviously need. Who doesn't need that? Uh, of course, as far as uh, you know, as ratings go, we bumped them a little bit. Nothing crazy. Uh, Robbie Anderson, I think, is off to a little bit of a slow start in real life. DJ Moore is okay. Uh, Chris McCaffrey, obviously, a pretty solid start uh, defensively. Uh, I believe Hassan Reddick has been yeah, he's okay. Uh, Shaq Thompson's actually been pretty good, back to his old self. Hopefully for them. Uh, Derek Brown's been decent. I think Brian Burns has been, you know, kind of average. Uh, Dante Jackson, a little bit above average. Chin, if I'm not mistaken, is actually kind of off to a slow start. But once again, I don't have the time to watch every single game. JC Horn's off to an okay start. Nothing crazy. Uh, it's a team that's, you know, they're not bad. They're not great. Uh, I don't know if your two or gross Matos can actually play. I might have to check that. But overall, uh, I mean, an okay team, right? Like, we have to fix the O-line quite a bit. Tommy Tramble might be good enough to be our starter going forward. Obviously, hidden, most likely star dev. Decent, not great. Wide receiver is obviously number two. will be fine for a while. But Robbie Anderson, that is that is a name that may need uh, a working on. Uh, he's 28. Looks like he got electrified. That's It's an issue. Uh, and then, yeah, there's, I mean, there's some pieces. It's the better of the two teams technically because of youth and future, but we don't know the whole Deshaun Watson situation, if he's going to return ever, which I doubt, or if they're going to get a bunch for him, who knows? So, you know, that's a huge factor on deciding who's really technically better going forward. But as of right now, I think this will be a little bit easier. I just, I just don't know what we're going to do with Sam Darnold. All right, not that bad of a season. We have some re-signings. Dante Jackson has always been a player that I love in franchise, even though I never really get him, which is really sad. But a five-year deal for Dante Jackson. Everyone else doesn't really seem to be someone I care about. And Hassan Reddick eh, thinks he's an edge rusher when he's actually not. I think... Okay, I mean, he's kind of an edge rusher. He's kind of like a hybrid 3-4... Cover. I don't know. He is an edge rusher, kind of. Um, but I don't think he should be paid like that. All right, so considering the season he's having, which is not a good one, and considering uh, what he signed for in real life, I'm going to give him a three-year 27. But obviously, I have to sign him for that because, you know, once again, he thinks he's like a pure edge god when he's, he's not really. All right, so year one, not bad. Panthers, nine and eight. So this isn't really like the pick we were looking for. This kind of works out for the team, I suppose. Uh, well, the team as in the trade for Darnold, obviously. If the you know the Panthers would have had a top five pick, that second round pick wouldn't have looked that great. I don't really know what to say other than Darnold's the quarterback of the future. My guy, not bad. I mean, I'm assuming he's going to star. Christian McCaffrey, 17-69, 20 touchdowns. Look at this. That is 30, like what, 30 touchdowns right on the nose with just over 3,000 yards. Nice. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't mind the Panthers' playbook, but that's a little too much, right? But then again, we won game. I don't know. But Brian Burns did really well. Derek Brown did all right. Gross Matos. I don't even know if he was supposed to play. May have been injured in real life. Whoops. Uh, Hassan Reddick, like I said, didn't really play that well, so a three-year 26 is totally fine. Zane Gonzalez is being let go because of that trash season. Erickson shouldn't even be kick returning, but guess who did? <laughs> Him, Chris McCaffrey, the MVP of the league, Offensive Player of the Year for the NFC side as well. Uh, Darnold would be Comeback Player of the Year, right? Comeback as in, like, come back to a decent team for once in his life. Should be a Pro Bowler, right? Number three. Uh, some, I mean, we got some awards, right? For a team that went 9-8, and eight, usually don't get any awards. 
Christian McCaffrey kind of went off and put up the greatest NFL season ever for any position, which is pretty sweet. Also, speaking of pretty sweet, it'd be pretty sweet if you left a like and maybe subscribe if you're new. We do too much franchise, honestly. If you like franchise, you're going to want to unsubscribe because you're like, there's just too much content. It's just too good. I don't know what to do. It, you probably won't do that, but hey, you'll, I mean, franchise... Uh, Sam Darnold, I may or may not have only had the uh, quarterback sliders on like 110. Probably should have put them on like 140, but it is what it is. You get to start out an element trade. It's a W and a half. Uh, looking at the defensive side of things, Hassan Reddick goes to superstar, so maybe we did kind of cheese on accident, even though he really didn't play that well. Uh, Shaq Thompson goes up to superstar, which that's an expensive man. And then Jeremy Chin goes up to superstar, at a pretty decent season, in fairness. Uh, I mean, okay, fair enough. We got some dev ups on a team that just barely missed the postseason. AJ Bouye, of course. I don't know if he actually regressed that hard, but I can tell you this. He's not the best player on the team anymore at corner. Dante Jackson gets up there with that nice five-year, $50 million deal. Probably would have been about like a 57, I'd say, in real life uh, if he plays consistently the way he has. Uh, but overall, not bad. Not a bad season. Darnold could be the guy, and that is grand. That is fantastic. So we only have about 35 mil to work with. A tackle would be A-OK -okay in my book. We need a lineman. The, the draft is not looking very good for linemen at all. There's like maybe two draftables, uh, you know, that we can actually get to. I don't like the situation. I really want an offensive lineman, and I just do not think we're going to be able to get one yeah, this is not looking too good. So in fairness, Darnold's number is already kind of high. I'd expect maybe like a $23 million per deal type of thing. Shaq Thompson went to superstar, but man, that contract. After this year, he's got to be gone, I feel. I don't think we can get rid of anybody. Like, these guys are just getting paid a ton of money. And all these guys are like guaranteed. We might actually be screwed. I offered some players. I don't think I can afford them. I really don't. I think we're going to go broke if I actually keep the offers on that I have. Like, this is bad. So we don't get Kappa, but we do get Jones and L, but I uh, no. All right, so we have pick 18. Not that it really matters too much. We're going to take a look at if there's anyone worth grabbing right here. We have a lot of good picks, but at the end of the day, do we want to go high with one of these guys? Keith Bowl looks pretty good, but I don't think we need a number one or number two corner. So even though he looks absolutely nuts, I think we got to pass on him. Parker Beverly, another really good looking player, but... Clifton Gallery can get the job done. We only really need one linebacker for the year. So realistically, our first pick is probably Oscar Jackson. And he's a late second. So, I mean, we can go probably like 15 maybe. So the Raiders offered us 49 this year, a second next year, and a third next year. Hopefully next year is a good year because did they not take the guy? Don't tell me they didn't take the guy. I don't want to risk this guy. I'm actually going to trade up to 10, which is still a win, obviously. So we trade 49 and 107 for 42 and 170, which of course will be the DT, and this is going to be an automatic win no matter what. It's going to be a perfect number two with the young squad looking godly. Oscar Jackson, this guy looks insane. Please be good, and as always, the damn normal dead, but of course a very good player. That's I think the way they they like they didn't change the weighting of how good the DTs are. They just made them all normal. Because, like, obviously, that guy looked absolutely nuts. Hey, where's my... Oh, yeah, we forgot. I was like, oh, we probably have pick 18 as well. I was like, I forgot about Sam Darnold. Damn. We traded 44 next year and 172 next year for 51. I don't know how realistic that is, but technically, there's a good chance that we don't do well again. So, eh, maybe should have given him more. But Nasir Gill looks absolutely nuts. Got to take him. Early third, mid first talent grade. 75 overall, but the hidden is what we were missing from that DT absolute god plug and play starter at strong safety we're balling out so we have justin steffa who's supposedly a run stopper i can't really tell if he is or not but we also have gallery who just looks better so i imagine we're going to trade to detroit here i mean the trade down it's not the worst decision in the world but of course we're basically losing everything that that trade down gained us we trade him 82 and Morgan Fox for pick 65 of course Morgan Fox costed us probably like four mil on the freaking pen but here we are yeah, these realistic trades are uh, not the most realistic, but I mean, close enough. Clifton Gallery, why not? Please be good. Yes, sir. 74 overall hidden. It's starting to heat up. 
and we really need a damn lineman, but like I just don't trust any of those guys. Braylon Etienne looks really good too, but I just don't trust him. I don't know. I just don't like it. Like, right? Like this guy is the only guy that has any chance. And we'd have to make a move all the way up to where we are now. I mean, I don't know. Impact block and lead block being his highest ratings really doesn't prove anything. A lot of players have high impact and high lead block. But what I will tell you is there's a Jalen Andrews wide receiver guy. Definitely someone I'm looking to trade up for. He looks really talented. We also trade our third round next year for their fourth this year, which is a win for both sides. Jalen Andrews, this guy looks like a steal. Please be good. And he is a 73 overall normal. Very solid, very usable, but not what we were looking for. I thought he was going to be hidden. The Jets, fresh off of signing Devontae Adams, give us 130 for 146 in 178, which will be a center. Uh, the left guard just doesn't look as good. The center looks like he might actually have a chance to be like kind of sneaky. Actually looks pretty decent. And he is sneaky. Hidden development trade, 6-7 overall. I'm sorry for yelling, but we need all the help we can get on the offensive line. Uh, I mean, he's 6-4, not the most athletic. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, the, the gut feeling for me is that the uh, the guard wasn't good. Maybe he was. I don't know. Oh, that was the wide receiver I had. I was debating on taking him. I kind of want to see how good he is just because obviously it was one pick before us. And not a bad draft class. I want to draft more, but I mean, you see this, right? Like, this is, is kind of trash. We're actually to take a quarterback out of Wisconsin. Brody Miller. Pretty white dude name, can't lie. Actually, not bad. We needed a backup quarterback. We got a backup quarterback. Sam Darnold's got to feel pretty good, right? Like, that shouldn't get him on edge too much. And considering our kicker doesn't exist, Gavin Palmer is our new kicker. 67 overall. Wow, that guy's talented. But I suppose it's time to take a look at our dev ups. The guys uh, that we grabbed are all starters. Literally, like, every single one of them, right? Other than the quarterback, I think they're all going to be starters. Jalen Andrews might be the number three. Nah, he'd probably be number four. But he doesn't have hidden anyways. Nasir Gill. Automatic strong safety. Thinks he's a linebacker with number 45. Sorry, pal. Not on my squad. Let's take a look at what he got. 35, 36 is all right. And he is a superstar. So we now have superstar safeties, simply put. And then gallery, we don't even have a middle linebacker currently on the squad. Automatic middle linebacker starter no matter what. Star, superstar, X factor, whatever it is. And unfortunately, is only going to be star. Uh, let's go on to the center now who... We have a spot. I just don't know exactly which one. I'm just going to put him at left tackle, right? We need a left tackle. Why not? Uh, superstar? Why not? Yeah, that's uh, unlikely. And I guess we'll take a look at the Eagles. There's probably some other teams that took players we wanted, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. Even this guy doesn't matter, even if he's hidden, which he's not. Uh, not a bad pick once again, but yeah, nah, nothing really too spectacular there. The DT was good. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at that, uh, that corner, I suppose. Six foot three, looked pretty good. I don't know who the hell took him, but probably be pretty easy to find him. Uh, was this the guy, Keith Bowie? 75 overall hidden. Unless he's a superstar or an X Factor, I can't regret it, right? Like, the trade down definitely set us up for all the other picks, and we have extra picks this year. Well, maybe not extra picks, but we at least have other picks, right? We have the Raiders picks. We can root for us to win. Not that really changes anything. We always want to win, but. I suppose it's technically a win, right? Like, teams value trading their picks off, technically, especially if you believe in your team, which I suppose there's some reason for us to do that. Not a lot of reason, but a little bit. All right, here's the squad for year two. Sam Darnold looking happy as hell. We probably should have bumped him a little bit because, once again, I had the sliders way too low. 110 in general is too low, but when your guy's already 24 normal, really low, obviously. Jalen Andrews does become the new number three, fits better than Terrace Marshall does, and just straight up a higher overall O-line. Didn't really improve it, I'll be honest with you. Left tackle set, I suppose. Moten's pretty good. But we didn't add much, right? Like, we added Lacey. Uh, ben Jones is, like, literally just a one-for-one one with Paradis. Left guard, right guard. We didn't do anything. The draft was trash. Should have paid more for Kappa. Maybe we'd be all right. Tommy Tremble. I mean, okay, year one, actually. Uh, especially for a rookie. Um, looking at the linebackers. Not looking bad. Thompson's going to be gone next season. But not looking bad outside of that. The safeties are set. The corners are set. Uh, the D-line seems set. Honestly, the defense... Assuming we can afford everyone, we really just need to replace Thompson, and we're literally ready to go. I mean, the team is team is set with all the starters on defense. Offensively, we need some offensive linemen, and then uh, a wide receiver, maybe tight end. We'll take a look at that. And then Darnold, I imagine, just going to be that guy for us. I, really, I don't see why we need to replace him. He played really well. 
All right, you know, had a good start to the season and took a bit of a dive, I can admit. Uh, Sam Darnold, five-year 122. I mean, I got to pay him, right? But I do want to see how he is playing first things first. And, I mean, he seems to be playing up to his Sam Darnold self, which in this case is actually good, believe it or not. He's the guy. He's the franchise quarterback. Five-year 126. Congratulations, Carolina. You've done it. You finally got one. It's been a while. Uh, DJ Moore. Five-year deal there. Got yourself that guy for long term. This is perfect. Can't wait. Brian Burns has obviously been the number one guy here. I mean, lately, everyone's just getting these insane deals. A five-year 91. Just get it out of the way. I should have done a six-year, to be fair, to make it look even more impressive. But it is what it is. I don't think he's complaining. <laughs> I don't think he's complaining. Uh, we got all of our re-signings on. AJ Boye is probably just going to straight up retire. Won't even get a chance to re-sign, even if we wanted him. Ben Jones, same with him. This punter is okay, but, I mean, it's about the price you would pay for any punter, let alone maybe a more talented one. But, yeah, not bad. We've got a lot of money left over. All right, heads to the playoffs. Are we in them? We are with the division win. Of all the teams in this division, we're the ones that won. And I will say, the craziest part is we got smoked by the Bengals. Won both games against the Buccaneers this season. 10-52, to and then you can see a win there. Similar one over here, too. A very similar win there as well. Clutched up. Let's take a look at Sam Darnold's numbers. This man is, uh, he's the savior. He's hes really the savior. Okay, maybe not as great of a season, but still pretty good. McCaffrey down year, but touchdowns are insane. McCaffrey, st oh my lord, this is OP. Uh, we might have, the, I mean, it's working, but I might have to change this. Like, I want the actual receivers to get involved a little bit more. But at the same time, got a guy like Christian McCaffrey, if it's working, it's working, right? So... I don't know what to think. I really don't. And I believe Mahomes had 71 touchdowns. Uh, just, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> we're just going to ignore it. Pretend it didn't uh, exist. Didn't happen. Uh, any dev, or not dev ups, but award wins, apparently not. But a playoff berth, which is very good. It was not that many touchdowns. I'm thinking of something else. It was 47. It was not fit to 71. I, I don't know why in my head 71 didn't sound absurd. I'm just used to it at this point with how many touchdowns these guys are scoring. It should have sounded absurd, but it didn't. Oh, yeah, he just had 71 touchdowns. It's nothing big. I'm not gonna, not gonna bother by that. Not gonna think twice. I will say, since he destroyed us, and they are in the postseason. So, I mean, I guess they are a pretty decent team, especially on offense. Kind of similar to us. Nah, our defense is a little bit better. Uh, Seven to three defense is proving that as well. Fourteen to three. Twenty-one to three. Twenty-one to ten. Offense. This is a good-looking team right now. I I'm telling you. You know, we've seen Carolina have a little bit of success throughout our rebuilds, and they probably don't draft as well as we did, right? Like, I don't imagine they drafted a superstar safety, a star lineman, another star uh, linebacker, a solid DT that'll be good for the future, a decent number three slash four wide receiver. I don't think they did that. And, of course, we made the playoffs and we switched picks. I don't know if the Raiders made the playoffs or not. Well, uh, we'll probably take a look at this afterwards, but... You know, we did a good job. I mean, we so far, this is off to a pretty good start. I cannot, kinda cannot lie to you. Uh, picks, Shaq Thompson, we do have to replace, unfortunately. But, man, that money. I mean, we don't have that much money left over as soon as we have to pay some of these other guys. But, man, Shaq Thompson, he's getting paid. Definitely not a bad day to be Shaq Thompson. And, of course, as far as the standings go, where are the Raiders? They are, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We get... Pick five in the second round from the Raiders. I take that. I, that's not bad. Of course, just to show you guys we didn't like force any wins or losses. And obviously, we'd force losses. We we're going to cheat. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, but we are on to the next round. We're in the divisional round here. That's pretty impressive. Going up against the Vikings. I think we did play them in the regular season. I cannot remember if we won or not. I do remember it being close, though, I believe. 85 overall to their 83. We're in a dome. There should be no issues. There should be, I mean... Will we win? I don't know. But there should be no issues. And I think we are just going to stick with the scheme. Like, why not just, you know, let McCaffrey go off? Especially once Robbie leaves. Then, you know, it doesn't really matter as much because we'll have to find a new wide receiver regardless. But going to the end of the game, huge touchdown by Minnesota. Looks to be a Dalvin Cook touchdown run. Uh, offense not looking super great. Defense holding up well. Huge run by Mc, uh, McCaffrey. I must have called him McCrapfrey, which is not a fitting name. Both running backs definitely having a battle in this one. Both defenses also battling. 
And we're headed to the championship round. This Panthers team is kind of shocking the world here. Let's take a look at these numbers. Sam Darnold going off. McCaffrey with those yards. Damn, not really much in the receiving game, though. Looking at the defensive stats. Derek Brown with four sacks. Oh, my. This team is ferocious. This is a bit of a shocker, honestly. Like, like I said, I've seen some success from them in Sim, but this is a bit of a shocker. To be out here like this, and okay, I see you. What do you guys think the, the Panthers are going to do in real life? It's kind of tough to tell, but they got a lot of potential. This is kind of the reason why I didn't go with them for a franchise. I knew, at least in Madden-wise, they've got a lot of developable pieces. It's really just the offensive line, but at the end of the day, that's a lot of teams' issues. Uh, so I, you know, I didn't really want to say, oh, well, the offensive line's not great. Let's let's fix that, and yeah, it's going to be a great franchise team. Uh, it, it was tough. Outside of maybe the Lions, it really wasn't a clear-cut, rebuild-ish team, right? Maybe the Texans, but once again, Deshaun Watson, what do you do there? You get a lot of value off of him? I don't know. Let me know what team you guys are using for your franchises. Uh, I did not mean to actually go in, but it seems like the Browns are headed to the Super Bowl, which they haven't been as dominant as last season, but... You know, still not a team you'd like to face. You'd probably rather face off against the Jaguars. But thankfully, it's not the Chiefs if we win this. Actually, have a chance to win. <laughs> if it's the Chiefs, you really don't. Going to the end of the game, will it matter? Doesn't matter who the Browns are. I mean, I that's a weird question. Dallas, of course, scored quite a bit because of a, uh, a blunder on our offense. It's not looking super great. 17-20-7. Pretty good start in the second half. We missed the extra point. We, of course, have a rookie kicker. 23-20. It's a very close game. It is all tied up at 23. We're looking like we're going to score up something. We get the field goal one yard short. I debate maybe going for it, but hey, maybe this is good that I'm not down there. Maybe it isn't. I don't like it. 49. I'm coming out here. I want to see this. I want to see this. I'm not going to play it. Actually, I will play. I'll play his gallery. It's like the linebacker doesn't run back. Like He's actually going to defend the running back. I suppose probably actually does happen in real life. I didn't see a necessarily bounce. Defense. They balling out. I mean, offense obviously playing their part, but holding Dak and company, a very high-powered offense to that, not bad. Uh, of course, the kicker with a fake field goal, it seems, for a touchdown. Oh, my. This team is just legendary. This team is one of those record book teams where it's just like, they did what they could, and it was enough to beat some of the Giants in the league. And look at that jersey swap. I'm not an expert on jersey swaps, but that doesn't look good. And if it's not a jersey swap, what the hell are we living in? Super Bowl trip just like that. Of course, we could end up losing to the Browns, but, you know, it is what it is. Super Bowl media day. I mean, let's let's not ruin tradition, shall we? <laughs> let's, let's not do that. Um, I'm going to say it's just the beginning, right? Like, every, it is everything, but at the same time... Just the beginning makes a lot of sense because, you know, we have a lot of faith in ourselves to just win. I'm not saying that will happen, but yeah, it would be nice. Just in case I forget, show you guys we didn't, like, force any wins. We're just balling. We're just balling. Of course, we did, once again, draft some pretty good players. We obviously didn't do a whole lot with free agency, but overall, pretty good roster. No dev up for Darnold. No dev up for Moore. Uh, no dev up for Robbie. Tremble, I don't think, really had that many yards defensively. <laughs> I mean, I want to still get rid of Shaq Thompson, but, like, the guy's a freaking X-Factor now. Okay, I mean, sure. Uh, JC Horn, 81 overall, super start of elementary flat zone KO. Doesn't have an ability there, but very good stuff. Uh, and I believe that's the only other dev up. This team is is progressing. It is, it is moving up quite a bit. All right, here it is. Can we have the quickest rebuild Super Bowl win we've had all of Madden 22? 7-0, I'm not feeling confident at all. Even though we have the lead, we're up 14. I still don't feel like it's a done deal. And just like that, they get the 7 before half. Just like that, it's all tied up. 21-14, 21 all. This needs to slow down. We get the touchdown. 10 minutes left. The Browns score in a hurry offense. We're slowing it down. I don't like it. 3rd and 12, we just keep going backwards and backwards. What even just happened? A negative 60-yard punt? That's the wrong way. <laughs> Defensively, we do get the ball. Good job with the defense. And that's that's a GG. We just lost the game on offense. Oh! They missed the field goal. I don't like it. And we lose. I was going to go in, but the, the, the side of my head, I don't know why the side of my head, but 
my head was like, they should have won that game, right? Like, they, they only ran out of time because the game sucks. Uh, that should have 100% have been a field goal winning kick, and they just didn't kick it. Sam Darnold, not bad. To go up head-to-head against the Browns, who are like EA's second favorite son, is not bad. McCaffrey obviously played his part. Unfortunate way to go out as we just had it. No! When was this? And please be... It was a block in fairness. It was a 50-plus. No, it was a 40-49-yard to 49 yard block. They sold. Oh, that hurts. That is painful. That is actual pain. But that's okay. That is absolutely okay because we got here. And you know what? We have got plenty of time. This team is still really good. But yes, am I pissed? Of course. <laughs> oh, my. Man, we almost did it. That would have been the fastest. I think we have had one three-year, but usually they've been four or five or just not at all. We'll see if it's not at all here. Of course, we made the uh, the Super Bowl, so we at least made it there. It's a huge win. If the Panthers made it this or next year, that would be a massive shock. No one could argue that. Uh, but, yeah, we, we just fell short. We're, we weren't quite there, especially on the offensive line. We have about 43 mil to work with. we got to make sure that we can actually afford everyone, though. I don't want to... Don't want to sign some crazy names. And he's like, oh, yeah, you have to re-sign Jeremy Chin. You have to re-sign this guy, that guy. So Shaq Thompson, I love that you're an X-Factor. You know, the the hit isn't actually that bad for whatever team we trade him to. So I think I'm going to trade him off for like a fourth round or a fifth round pick. 29 years old is pretty high. But as you can tell, he is he's balling out. Like he's looking really good. Robbie Anderson hasn't really played that well. You know, you can actually get rid of him too. I think this is going to be, even though we just won the Super Bowl, a bit of an offloading season. I think we're going to offload some uh, more expensive contracts, save about 30 mil in the back pocket. I know that's one of our starting linemen, but he's not that great. Save about maybe 20 or 30 mil for some of the re-signings and just call it a day there. But let's first start off with reagents because we can relate, you know, we can release or trade those guys anytime we want. Tyreek Hill, uh, I'm sorry. If Mahomes is there, that's the one guy they're not leaving. You know, they're not losing him. Terry McLaurin's not going to be gone. Rodgers should and will be gone. Uh, TJ Watt could be and should be. Uh, Matthew Ioannis is in a need. Tom Brady, Marquise Brown. That could happen because the Ravens don't really seem like they're super in on a guy, even though Mar Marquise Brown makes the uh, the Ravens really dangerous. Uh, but I just, Tyreek Hill's not going to be there. I'm sorry. I don't know if any of you, you know, any other rebuilders have been signing him i just don't see it happening it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me like even if they go broke that's just the one guy they're not going to let go right but the other question you got to ask yourself is do we need a wide receiver number two you know we have christian mccaffrey we have tommy tremble we have of course dj moore that could just be enough i don't know i'm gonna offer marquise brown because i think i think in fairness i believe he would be a guy that could go right whereas tyree kill it's just not happening i it's just i'm sorry i don't know if i said that already or not and as far as uh, linemen go, I think we need to land at least one. Maybe two, to be fair. Treader would be a nice name. We have signed him a lot, though. I mean, what do you mean? This is a one-year thing. <laughs> uh, I mean, we just won the Super Bowl. I think you got to go in as much as possible. Wish Cole Holcomb wasn't making so much money. Be a really good replacement for uh, Shaq. Although you could almost argue you could see Terry McLaurin go. I know that in the NFL, more than any other sport... It really is. If you pay them fairly, they're going to stay for the most part. But at the same time, if I'm Terry McLaurin, I'm thinking about leaving, dude. Like, Tyreek Hill doesn't really have a reason to leave, right? If they, they can afford him, he's staying, right? Like, as simply put, Terry McLaurin going to a division rival, I mean, that happens a lot, especially when a guy's unhappy. I think we're going to pay him. That's a lot of money, but I like it. I like the offer. We can always come back to Marquise Brown if this doesn't work out. I know he's younger than Tyreek, but it's just, it's more realistic in my book. Not to mention, I almost never see Terry McLaurin in there. He's like, I'd say maybe one out of every, like, eight free agencies at best. Okay, yay. The gig is up. All right, come out. We know that you're manually doing this draft class. Come on. Let's go. And the scouting thing on him was built like a tree. Come on. Okay, that was a little too far. Uh, too soon. I'm sorry. That's a bit of a stinger. Not only uh, did I really want him, I think he would have made the team, I mean, basically there. But two, um, yeah, it would have been a hell of a thumbnail. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, I really wanted him, and we got to pay more for Marquise, who we're not going to get, by the way. Uh, we've we've sold. We have literally not going to get either of these wide receivers. Maybe we can actually find a team that usually gets rid of like a contract uh, wide receiver or something, you know, contract year kind of wide receiver. We'll see. But I will say, a little surprise we got Treader. A pretty big win. I take it. So we paid a little bit more than we wanted to, but we did end up getting Marquise Brown, kind of a similar style of receiver that this team has had. Very weird to have fast receivers that are being thrown to by kind of an average armed guy. So we trade 31, a second round next year, and Shaq Thompson to the Titans for 16 and 144. 31 and 51 was almost dead even fairness. I tried to give him a fourth next year. They wouldn't take it, so... That's that's the trade. I think it's it's close enough. And the reason why we made this massive trade up is because the linebackers look like trash. And this guy is the only halfway decent one. And by halfway decent, I mean very, very solid looking. If he's not at least hidden, I will be very sad. Okay. That was not going to plan. That did not go to plan at all. Not bad, but... Fourth overall in true talent, my anus, I suppose, is is the uh, route I would go. This guy's not bad, but I'm not trading up. Um, if I'm going for another, I'm going for a lineman. It's going to be Paul Walker. Oh, Paul Walker is a fifth rounder. He actually could be a steal, mid six or whatever it said. Okay, fair enough. I really wish we did need tight ends. This guy looks like a steal. I got to take a look at him after the draft, but man, that guy looks quite good. Safety's looking pretty good. I mean... At the end of the day, we don't need those positions. The safeties are not really built to play a linebacker. So I suppose with the lacking of later on picks, I kind of, we might as well uh, trade down. So we ended up trading uh, pick five to the Bears. We got 31, 72, and a fifth round pick. We also traded uh, Robbie Anderson off to him. Uh, it was not a huge win for us, but we wanted to trade down badly. So, I mean, it's the best we're going to get. Matthew Springs is solid. Not big enough, once again, to play linebacker. So do we just trade down again? We need multiple linemen. Do we take the risk on Josh Johnson? I mean, I don't... Once again, impact, lead block, that doesn't really mean a whole lot. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I think this is an L. I really don't like that. I'd rather wait. I'm going to trade down again. Screw it. So we're going to get a third, fourth, and sixth off of the Colts. Not the worst trade in the world. Going to five, where we may just reach. Actually, that was a pretty good trade. Do we just reach for someone? Reach up to the sky. We don't really need a running back, but this guy is very talented. Screw it. Javier Galloway. 75 overall normal. Damn, that speed's lower than I thought, but very talented. Is super good, actually. Bears offers a third next year, a fourth this year. I had to take it. And with this pick, I'm going to not risk it anymore. I'm just going to straight up take Paul Walker, I think. Actually, how high is he? Mid fifth. Eh, that's not terrible. For the memes. And he is hidden. <laughs> of course he's hidden. Uh, he's kind of built as a true center, though. It seems like anytime we get JC Treader, we actually do get true centers. Of course, Paul Walker would be hidden. Why wouldn't he be? Well, uh, what are you, crazy? Uh, what about the other guy? Not really a, a meme, but not bad himself. Calvin Dunn, script. Another hidden. Three hidden development center. Uh, to be fair, it is center. Centers are actually broken. The centers this year, I can't remember if it was like that last year. I think it might have been as well, are basically the new DTs. Don't tell anyone that. Clearly, you would have never known without me saying it, right? Obviously. Forgot that quarterback, by the way. Got to take a look how good he was. Adam Young, why not? Super fast. 69 overall normal. I haven't really seen too many hidden development wide receivers. Not a bad pick. And, I mean, kind of just going to trade the rest off, right? We need some special teamers. That's about it. All right, our kicker was okay, but I want a new one. Tom Steffens, 72 overall. Oh, he's a lot better than our other guy. Still no hidden special teamers. Is that actually possible? Is that the is that the next video we need to do instead of the fastest quarterback one? Are we, are we going to move to this? Is it possible to draft a hidden special teamer? And, obviously, we would count special teamer being a fullback as well. But maybe we'll prove that wrong right now. No, he's not. Wow, he is actually really bad. Uh, but yeah, we used to hit, you know, every once in a while, we probably hit like a hidden kicker or punter every like seven or eight drafts. Maybe not punter, but kicker for sure. Uh, but I haven't seen that yet in Madden 22. A couple of fullbacks here and there for hiddens as well. They probably should sneak in at least like one hidden fullback every like two or three drafts. Uh, but oh yeah, I forgot Wade wasn't even freaking hidden. Uh, did we even have, oh yeah, we had two hidden linemen 
Way to go, us. I mean, I suppose that was one of our bigger needs in general. Uh, Calvin Dunn. I think we're probably just going to have to keep Treader at his guard or something. We're going to move Dunn to right guard, and then the other guy, the, the guy to center, is just going to stay center. Calvin Dunn, start of Elementary. Paul Walker for the memes. Can he do it? Can he complete the trifecta? Superstar dev, maybe even X Factor. Come on. And he doesn't, of course, but <laughs> was open. That would have been, would have been something. Uh, did we pass on anyone? We do want to see the quarterback, but I can't remember. Who's this guy? Yeah, I mean, the, the middle, I'm telling you, the linebackers looked awful. They looked really bad. Of course, this guy is very solid, but they looked bad. They just didn't look good at all. Uh, was this the tight end? Who was the tight end? Did this guy go all the way down here? Should have been fast in that, but obviously very insane. No shot. He didn't have aggressive. 6'3"? Was he really only 6'3"? I mean, he wasn't that good after all. Let's take a look at that quarterback. He was probably very solid. I just completely forgot about him. Chris Cannon with the cannon. 73 overall. Decent speed. Good throwing ability. 6'4", 21. He's actually looking beastly. And his dev, I'm going to guess, is Superstar. And now it's only star, but still really good. Okay, I mean, fair enough. We did improve, but we didn't improve as much as we wanted. I would have much rather had uh, Terry McLaurin, of course, but we still did end up with Marquise Brown. And I think I lost connection to the servers, but I think we traded off all the guys with expensive contracts as well, right? It's already year three, and I will say this is definitely an improved roster. Huge upgrade at left guard. We got some youth with Dev at the center and right guard positions. Left tackle is already better than last year. Moten will keep getting better. Tremble will keep getting better. Marquise Brown's about equal to Robbie Anderson. They kind of do different things, whereas uh, DJ Moore is kind of just like a do-it-all type. Very fast, kind of do-it-all, whereas Marquise just burns down the field. Christian McCaffrey can't really say much more about him just being a god. Darnold has played pretty well for us. Definitely a downgrade at outside linebacker, but... Hopefully we can, uh, you know, maybe get a Rookie of the Year award, get to star. Gallery gets to superstar. I mean, we could be well on our way back to the Super Bowl again. And if we are, I mean, there's no stopping us. We're a little late into the season, so I'm not exactly sure how high these guys got in overall. But, of course, Jeremy Chin's a guy that you keep for as long as possible. Six years, 72.7. Uh, Derek Brown, another guy that you keep. Probably a four-year deal just because at 29, if he's still star, probably not worth going into his 30th year uh, gross Matos. Now, that's a questionable one. 10 mil per, once again, not the craziest money. Uh, having a good year this year, I mean, I suppose. I'm not going to give him more than three, though. I think he's just going to get a three-year deal. If he turns out to be a god, we took an L. But at least we're not locked in forever if he doesn't. Please don't choke. Please don't choke. Please don't choke. Please don't choke. We choked, but we still get the bye week. Well, not the bye week, but the, the division, I suppose. Sam Darnold, number three for yards, it seems. Not bad. Could go to Superstar. Uh, yeah, we definitely choked, but it was good opponents. Can't really blame it. And uh, obviously, we will be in the postseason for back-to-back -back seasons. Take a look. Darnold's yards were top three, which I think is enough to go to Superstar. But his touchdowns definitely lacking a little bit. Touchdowns in general kind of lacking. Chris McCaffrey, 1,700 yards, still balling out. Marquise Brown had the number one yardage. Uh, DJ Brown was decent. I will say, Tremble is actually playing pretty well. He's actually played really well for us so far. Not great year one. Year two, really solid. Year three, really solid. Probably puts him in the top five for tight ends, performance-wise. O-line, not bad. Everett, most tackles on the team. Doesn't really surprise us. Brian Burns earning that contract. Gross Mato is earning his contract. Oscar Jackson could go to star. Uh, you know, he's a DT. Eight and a half is pretty good for a DT. Six and a half for Derek Brown. And then three and a half for De uh, Wade Everett, which is also what I'm packing down there, unfortunately. What? McCaffrey, number four. Elliott, number one for the MVP award. A rookie of the year for Wade Everett. And that appears to be it. No other awards. But back in the postseason, potential Super Bowl trip again. Who knows? 11-6 versus 10-7. and seven. Our overall's got to be pretty goaded comparatively. 88, which is not bad considering where this Panthers team starts. Oh, I like this. It actually looks pretty sick. Can you actually see any of the buildings while you're playing? Uh, you can. That's kind of sick, isn't it? Look at that building back there. You see it for a second, and that's it, but that's pretty cool. I don't know why. Something tells me we're going to lose. I don't know what it is. Something just tells me. It's 7-all... Uh, 14 to 7 so far. Uh, that gut feeling's kind of looking potentially true. 
14 all halftime. We'll take that. We were down. We kind of climbed back. Tied up again. Huge play by the defense. Up seven. Not up seven. Up three. Holding. And barely. 31 to 28. A very, very close game. Of course, Sam Darnold going up against Trey Lance. And Sam Darnold had a near perfect game. McCaffrey, not really that great. Cream Hunt now on the Niners. Okay, makes sense. Not the worst thing in the world. Marquise Brown showing up pretty nicely. Uh, defensively, sack totals, Nick Bosa, Oscar Jackson. Yeah, they. I mean, it's kind of even, I suppose. They had us a little bit, but I suppose they do have a pretty good pass rush. There's Darius Smith and, and Bosa and freaking Armstead, I think, still there. Pretty good team. We barely won, but once again, that is one of the more premier teams, especially starting Trey Lance now. I don't know how many years, probably about two seasons now with superstar dev. Not bad. Headed to the divisional round, the Cardinals. A very solid squad as well. Some of the guys, you know, J.J. Watt we know is gone. Uh, only an 83 overall. DeAndre Hopkins is still there, but he's probably regressing or very close to regressing. Running back still James Conner, which is... Maybe a little bit of an L. Offensive line still probably questionable. There are definitely a lot of holes on that team. There's, there's definitely a lot of holes on that team. And I think, I mean, if we beat the Niners, we should easily beat the Cardinals, right? I mean, that's the Niners probably won that division. That's not true, actually. The Cardinals did win the division. 10-0, uh, to not a great start. 10-3, to so not a great start. 13-3, to come on, Carolina. Just won a Super Bowl. I don't think it's happening. Just won a Super Bowl. Just got to the Super Bowl. We're getting smoked here. This is not a good look. And yeah, we we lost thirty six to three against the the uh, the the Cardinals. I don't think that's something I expect. But sure, I mean I'll allow it. Four interceptions from Sam Darnold. Their DBs are pretty good, specifically Buddha Baker. That's an L, man. Who got all the picks? I mean someone decent, right? Chandler Jones is still there, so maybe their team is still a little pretty decent. Take going. Uh, Buda Baker and Zaven Collins. Damn, that was just a straight-up L. We got smoked. Chiefs, Cowboys, Super Bowl. The winner of that Super Bowl is, of course, the Chiefs. No shocker there. Let's take a look at any potential dev-ups we would have had. And Samuel Darnold. Only an 84 overall, but he's superstar. The man is rising. 70, 27 overall uh, years old. Uh, pretty good throwing abilities. Uh, obviously, break sack's not great. That's not really his game Get that throw under pressure up a little bit, play action up a little bit, specifically in real life. Uh, he's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty good. Uh, as far as the dev ups for Marquise Brown, did not get one, which really sucks. Went up two overalls, halfway to another. He's okay. He looks all right. Defensively, any dev ups? No dev ups for anyone, actually, but no dev ups for the linebackers. Wait, no, Everett was normal. Okay, so we got one. We got one dev up. It's not bad. I would have liked a little bit. Oh no, we got a uh, Gross Matos as well. That's that's Derek Brown. Welcome. Uh, probably should have given him that longer deal, but it is what it is. It works out. Superstar Dev. It's fun. Oh, now someone like Daniel Hunter's in free agency. Justin Herbert, the X Factor. Excuse. Help. Hello. Why? Why would you put him in in free? Okay, sure, man. Uh, Rogers still there as well. This is not a free agent's class. That really helps us out too much. Patrick Queen probably fits what we're trying to do a little bit better than uh, Hassan Reddick does anyways. Hassan Reddick's on his last year. He's, he's not that young anymore. And the Ravens have crushed that dream immediately. <laughs> Never mind. So I was hoping maybe some decent offensive lineman would be here. But ironically enough, it's literally J.C. Treader. The highest overall available is J.C. Treader. Nice. So Grant Delpit and uh, Treader do sign. Delpit was like a four-year 20, not a bad backup. And then Treader, of course, was like a one-year eight. A little bit worse than last year, but overall the team is better. Obviously, uh, every single season we move on, we get better because obviously we have a young group of players, specifically on that offensive line, which is probably one of our weakest positions at this point, uh, which, I mean, I don't know if we even really need to worry about because, once again, we have a lot of star devs there. But I suppose let's go to the draft. Uh, we have a bunch of linemen there. Maybe we take a corner on top of it. I don't know. We trade 27, 91, and 77 to move up to 18. We may have sold on the, the linemen, but I suppose the corner looks pretty good that we have an eye on. Uh, so Vernon Ali, very solid-looking cornerback. Can he be a god? And 76 overall hidden. Looks like a god to me. That's so win. 
We trade two fourth rounds and a second next year for 48 to grab this center who looks really solid. And here he is, James Carroll. Going to be a god, hopefully. 76 overall hidden. It's too easy. We trade a fourth and a sixth for 97, which we're going to be taking a wide receiver. We're killing the draft. Don't you worry. Maybe we lose our second round pick next year. Maybe it doesn't matter because we grabbed a god. Nick Bradshaw is our next pick, 6'4", and he's also it in 70 overall. I'm not really even sure what we do with this guy, but he just looked good. Went for him. Went up. All right, Daryl Callahan, randomer. Why not? 68 overall, that's why. Okay. Okay, let's get off of our high horse a little bit. All right, so we have our draft picks. Uh, Vernon Ali is going to be the number three, I believe, out the gate no matter what. Let's take a look at his dev anyway see if we landed a stud. Eh, he's all right still. Let's go with number 25. Center, I don't know if we actually have a spot for him. If he's a higher overall than anyone, I'm going to start him. If he's not, screw it. He just sits for a year or so, whatever we can replace. Start of element trade, I don't know. I mean, I guess Treader's gone no matter what. And then Nick Bradshaw, no matter what, is the three or four. And let's see if we got ourselves another steal or not. Pick 18, or number 18 is kind of cool on him, actually. And yeah, it is what it is. All right, it's year four. Sam Darnold is not really upgraded too much in overall because, of course, he's starting on the older side. But superstar, looking pretty good every uh, week. Offense looks pretty solid. Uh, is it good enough? I don't know. I really don't. I, I mean, we have all the pieces, but they are, I mean, they're not that high of an overall yet. Maybe with some morale boost, uh, things will change. But overall, uh, I mean, we're good. We'll see. So J.C. Horn, he's obviously the future at the position. We're going to give him a deal worth about, and I mean, that's about fair, right? About 11 per or something like that, 10 per, whatever. Tommy Tremble, a five-year deal worth about 41. It's not bad money. Welcome back. I was about to say welcome, but I mean, it's not really welcome if he's coming back. We have money. That's that's really all I can uh, say. Not money to resign sign Hassan Reddick for that price, but we do have money. All right, a decent-looking season, and we are in the playoffs. Of course, not the division leader, though. Uh, let's take a look at those numbers. I do not see any of our guys on there, which is not good. Uh, Darnold could be an X-Factor. That's pretty good numbers. I think you have to be top two in one of them, though, so we'll see. Christian McCaffrey, pretty good season again. DJ Moore is an X-Factor. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, once again, really good there. Uh, Andrews over Brown. What the hell is going on around here? And Teddy Lacey, we are not going to talk about because that is an awful season. Brian Burns went off. Maybe it is the year. I don't know. I don't know. I got to check the lineup because I got to make sure that Marquise Brown is getting as much carries or catches as possible because it's a little odd, to be honest. And we had uh, two award wins. I'll take them. Would have been nice to see a damn bye week, but I, I mean, it's a pretty tough division, so it is what it is. Okay, here we go. Back against the Niners. 90 to their 86. This is only, uh, you know, makes sense. We're going to play the Cardinals next, lose, and then we'll have our final season year five. So close to two-season Super Bowl win. Just couldn't get it done. Of course, we wouldn't have ended anyways. We would have done at least another two seasons, but still, could have won it out the gate. That would have been so sick. Three to seven. Can we get back? Can we get back there? A little uh, disappointing, especially for the start of this thing. Three to 14. Thank you. Thank you very much. 13 to 14. Are we just not ready? Are we just not ready? I'm not saying we're that much better than the Niners where we should have smoked them, but it shouldn't be this close. Like, the defense is holding on so hard, and we just barely win. What a disaster of a matchup. Let's take a look at these numbers. Trey Lance, okay, I mean, both quarterbacks were awful. At least we're not as bad as uh, Trey Lance, I suppose. Let's take a look at the sack totals. Nick Bosa and Zadarius just crushing it together. Jeremy Chin, my guy with the two picks, and then Clifton Ga is it Gallery. It's, that's a very interesting name. Yeah, Gallery, it's, that's what I figured. Not bad. Of course, kicking was perfect, which it needed to be, because did we even score? We scored, like, one touchdown. In the divisional, anyone but the Cardinals at this rate. Of course, the Packers barely won. They would assume they would have Jordan Love, unless they regained Rodgers. Could see some of their, uh, you know, OG players there. But, of course, guys like... Devante are gone. Rodgers are gone. I suppose they kind of are nearing the end of their careers anyways at this rate. But, I mean, we should be able to win this game. We're at home on top of it. Steelers are moving on. I mean, this is not a bad year to, to go all the way, right? Zero all, three to zero. Come on. Ten to zero. Man, why are we starting out so poorly? I suppose offense just kind of sucks. Offense, wake up. Thank you. Ten all. 
what is even happening? I like I just don't know. If we win this way, it is what it is. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Down by one with three minutes left. First and four. Why is it a first and four? Third and nine. Did they get it? They got it, of course. And here's the last play. I'm coming in. I'm watching this happen. Third and eight. We need the pressure. Can we do it? Come on. They are going to be throwing this ball. And almost picked off by Everett. You got to come down with that thing. Of course, we'll sim, see if they kick it in. They do. Clock is dripping. Oh, you guys, are you serious? Who does Green Bay even have? I don't want to use crossers. Damn it, I just clicked the first play that showed up. And curl, sure, I guess. Is disastrous. The clock is running. I didn't even notice. Nice. Tommy Tremble. That is near perfect coverage. And you're going to say he got us out. There is no chance that that is the case. There is just simply no chance. And DJ Moore. Hold on, he does. Timeout is called. Chance is there. Play action boot over. I don't want to use PA uh, crossers because that's obviously really OP. Andrew's my guy. Maybe. Or does he have him? He does! Touchdown, Brown! Marquise! Dime! They bit. They bit on Andrews, which was the primary route until I saw him deep. And that's a touchdown. Let's take a look at this thing. So of course, you see, who the hell is this safety? Who is this? Savage still around, surprisingly. They still have Amos as well? That's not a crazy amount of years down the line, but I'm a little surprised they kept them both. And Amos just bites like he... I mean, I suppose he... I mean, he had it. Andrews got locked up by Jair. Nobody's there. It's a touchdown. We win. That is unbelievable. Unfreaking believable It wasn't, you know, crossers. It was, I mean, similar-ish play, but definitely not the same. Not as broken. Uh, at least I would assume. I don't know all the cheese plays. And ultimately, they didn't even deserve to win. They threw three interceptions. They actually almost won a game like that. That would have been broken. I would have been saddened. And, yeah, we came in, but I do not care. All right, championship round coming up. Probably the Cowboys. And it is, as you would expect, Dallas versus Carolina. 90 overall to their 86. Here we are, final opponent in our way from getting back to the Super Bowl. All right, not the greatest start, but, I mean, 7-all. 14-7, finally a lead. I would have loved to see a field goal or something. Hey, not bad for up 14. Come on, D. Okay, not bad. That should be it. 28 to 10, that should be it. And it is it. We will not look back. And we're headed back to the bowl for the first time since season two. Sam Darnold, not bad. Christian McCaffrey, okay, okay. Yards, okay. I mean, I like yards. Those are fun. Sack totals, we were better. Definitely better. We got a pick with Hassan Reddick. I'm telling you, it's that edge. He is what he wants to be. No one's shocked by it being the Chiefs, but X-Factor, and he is. The title gets to say Sam Darnold becomes an X-Factor. That is all I cared about, clearly. <laughs> but I suppose set feed or lead, I guess. Long range dead eye, gunslinger, safety. What is this one? Safety valve. Well, obviously safety valve makes insane amounts of sense. Uh, and then I guess pocket dead eye is pretty fair. With sleight of hand, inside dead eye. I'd say inside dead eye. Those are actually pretty good. But is that brick wall? Excuse me? That's definitely not something he's good at. Um, Pro reads, high low, dead eye, blitz radar, freight train, running gun. I guess gambler makes the most sense. Uh, of course, we also see that more, who we expected to, does get to X Factor. No update or upgrade for Brown. And oh, here's a bunch of superstars. Did Gallery also get to Superstar? I don't think he was Superstar before, right? Superstar, Dev, Everett, also Superstar, Dev. No Dev up for Dante, but a lot of Superstar Devs. Is, how, many, how many is that? Like seven? That's eight. That's quite a bit of Devs. But the main question is, actually, let's not rank the routine. Is it going to be enough to beat the Chiefs? I, I don't think so, but maybe... Uh, last time we said just the beginning, right? So let's go everything this time. We It was just the beginning. But also we didn't win it last time. So we're just going to, you know, hey, just dial it back a little bit. It'll mean a lot. So please, Chiefs, you've already won a couple. You know, let, let us have one. Higher overall, doesn't matter. 
If we win this, I would be absolutely shocked. And the best part is Dallas had a chance to host a Super Bowl and they <laughs> fell short. <laughs> Seven all after a very quick drive by Kansas City. And as you would have expected, we do not hold the lead for long. It is getting out of hand. 17 all, and that's not going to be the case. Field goal before half, though. Drive all the way down. We do nothing. Down seven. It's closer than I thought, though. I will say. Please, touchdown. And we, how many extra points are we going to miss? Honestly, how many? Do we get the two point? We do, so I guess it doesn't really matter. The Chiefs are driving. Of course, they'll get the score. Could we walk off? Darnold did a Darnold. Oh, but they sold. Who in the world would bet on the Chiefs to not score? What is happening? What? Nah, I'm coming in. What is this? Fourth and four and you get sacked for a 10-yard lead? That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. I'm coming in. I'm winning this game. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. Oh, I went for the freaking wide receiver, which in fairness isn't the worst call. Oh, so Tyreek's not even here anymore. Who is Who is this? Who's that in the middle? Like Mike Evans or something? We fell down. Get him. Nice. They're playing very conservatively, I will admit. What come with the blitz? I don't care. This is like uh, solo challenge mid-blitz time, basically. Saw on Reddick pretty fast. Can get out there on uh, Clyde Edwards. And Mahomes cannot get the ball off cleanly. Let's go. Yeah, talk crap to him. Oh, touch us. I'm going to punch you off. Can't wait till we throw a pick six. There we go. We're moving. All you need is a field goal. I know this guy can't kick extra points, but he can kick field goals. Don't need it. Yeah, we did need it, actually. We got the field goal, and we win. Carolina is the Super Bowl champion. Could have been a dynasty, but they weren't dynasty. But it's still pretty nice. We've seen this animation a bunch of times. We really have. But I don't think we've seen it with Darnold. Maybe we have, actually. We did a Darnold Panthers rebuild, so maybe. Obviously, it was Madden 21. I don't remember how that turned out, but yeah. It's not the next gen. I don't like, you know, lag out as much or whatever. It is still very annoying, though. Next gen. Once you're into, like, season three in a rebuild, it just, for some reason, the, like, it's just too much information. And it just freezes everything up. And it just takes, like, so much longer. But I suppose the next gen uh, celebration is kind of cool and it's new. So maybe we should go back to it. Maybe we should. We'll just, we'll try it, I guess. Other than the long ones. I'm not doing 10, 15, 20, 30 year rebuilds on next gen. That is a disaster. Of course, Christian McCaffrey was the MVP. And now we get to see the podium with Darnaldo, DJ Moore, linebacker man, Gallery, who I didn't even know his name until like this off or postseason. But Darnold has taken Carolina to a Super Bowl and won it. Well, two of them now and won one. And the Jets are just like, you've got to be effing me. That was our guy. Of course, let's take a look at the numbers. Very similar stuff. Outperform Mahomes in the bowl. That's impressive. Kenya Bond. Kenya, relax. Like, 235 yards. Holy crap. Uh, obviously, we had a lot of good performance as well, but not one guy like that. That's insane because you don't need Tyreek Hill. Uh, and, yeah, those are the numbers. We won. We did it. I'm all about it. I I thought we were going to win year two, like I said. thought maybe year three was year. Once we hit year four, I was, like I said, I thought we were going to lose early. I really didn't believe. But we did it. We did do it. So some of the guys on offense, obviously all stars pretty much across the offensive line. It's not easy to get superstars. Tommy Tremble ends up becoming, what, 88 overall. Uh, decent route running. Deep route sucks, but obviously he's not really that fast anyways. You know, he's usable speed, but nothing elite, I say. I would say. Uh, very good short, decent medium, uh, uh, very good catching, I suppose. You know, I mean, he's okay. He's nothing special. Definitely not nothing, you know, anything crazy. Uh, I suppose let's take a look at Mr. DJ Moore, who is 28 years old. And, yeah, he's a very good player across the board. Short route's not great, which is ironic because... Multiple of our receivers aren't great at short route yet. That's kind of Darnold's game here. McCaffrey, really good stuff. Thought he would have maybe been a little bit better than that with all the stats he put up. To not come away with like 99 juke, 99 spin is a little surprising. Uh, let's take a look at Marquise Brown, I suppose, who got to, what, an 88 overall. Uh, once again, not going to shout route. Of course, he's fast, so it probably doesn't really matter how good his route running is for short. 
And then Darnold, the main man, 87 overall. Very solid throwing stats and a 90 throw power. He gained one legitimately. I think we got, gave him 89, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, medium route, solid. Short, solid. Deep is solid. Everything solid except for play action and throw under pressure, but it worked out. Of course, we kind of forced the abilities, and he can't get any of these. Uh, but let's take a look at the defense. A couple of guys, you know, like J.C. Horn. Be interesting to see how they turned out. Of course, going to be a man coverage guy for us, but, you know, insane in man coverage and fairness. Gill, very good draft pick. Superstar right as a rookie. A little raw, but super strong. Let's take a look at Jeremy Chin, who is a 93 overall, looking like a god. Look at that speed. So good. Just insane. Dante Jackson, of course, probably regressing now, but pretty good man coverage corner as well. Yatur Gross Matos, uh, very solid. Probably should have gave him a longer-term deal, but didn't want to risk it because he wasn't playing super well. Uh, and then Brian Burns has been an absolute god for us. Uh, and then these guys really don't run. I, I guess we'll take a look at Reddick. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, how old is he, 30? Jeez. That was some years. Good, but, uh, you know, oh, that's, <laughs> I was thinking of Derek Brown. I don't, I don't know why. I was like, yeah, this is, I was about to say, different block shedding god. Yeah, Jackson never turned out to be great, but he is a good, uh, you know, pass rusher, I suppose, 80 uh, power move. Turned out all right. You know, he won the whole thing, and obviously, uh, we'll see what they can do in real life. I think Sam Darnold has looked pretty good so far. How long will that last? I do not know. I really don't know. Uh, but they should win tonight, I would imagine so. And you know, cap off a pretty good start to the season. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new and mean a ton to me. And it's free and, and you know, it helps out a lot. Uh, if you, of course, are someone that's already been subscribed, you've been watching the channel for a while, I appreciate your continuous support so much. Uh, and yeah, maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, Care Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Care for streams. We did one yesterday. We'll be back tomorrow sometime, maybe 9 30, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have a suggestion for what team you want to see next, let me know in the comment section below. Tomorrow should be Raiders franchise. Saturday will be something. And Sunday will be something. <laughs> It'll be a rebuild again on Sunday. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!